What is up guys? Jake from OneHive here with the next war recap video and this is the one from our sister clan 2.0. We did get the W just by one star so excellent job to both clans. We will obviously go through and show what they did to our bases. All of the Town Hall 10s 2 starred and all of the Town Hall 9s 3 starred except for that little guy right there. Pero 95% so close so so close. Uh, but everything else did get cleaned up, so good job to everybody over at 2.0. Brought some amazing attacks and had some good bases for sure. Uh, we did get all two stars on the Town Hall 10s. Almost grabbed one, 93% by Crispy, but not quite uh, all Town Hall 9s. Three stars, so that was the difference. Very close war, very fun war. Obviously a very friendly war uh, with our sister clan there, but everybody had a good time and uh, was very, very competitive and close. So, not going to show any of the Town Hall 10s, just simply... Uh, really nothing to see. Uh, normal stuff there. We didn't get um, a lot of uh, good attempts for for that. Actually, the first time in a while that a few of our Town Hall 10s had to come down and clean up a few Town Hall 9s. So that was kind of strange. Had a lot of 90-something uh, percent. I mean, I had two. I had one 97, one 99. You guys could see both of them. And uh, it's always worse. You saw the live attack. You could see one of them in a cleanup video. And... Uh, I think we had seven or eight of those like that. So, you know, a lot that could have gone better and given us some more chances at uh, Town Hall 10s. But again, credit to their base designs. Uh, they were pretty tricky. Let's check out Alpha Dog. Taking out number eight, though. Excellent attack. Again, watch this attack. Look at his spell composition. Two zaps, five quakes. And this, I'm seeing it more and more and more. The things that we talked about and theorized about before the update comes out. Uh, it is very effective and possibly... Uh, OP as I as I speculated back then. Uh, I've seen it to where you know the base design is really insignificant because you can always get that stray air defense and with quakes or jump spells or whatever normally you can get access to two or three uh, air defenses so even if you can't get that fourth one all you do is exactly what Alpha Dog brings here it's just a couple extra uh, excuse me a Lava Hound just to tank for it for a little bit and then boom it's gone so right there he does uh, the two zaps and a quake onto that Bottom air defense there, you know, close to bottom. And then the four quakes up top to actually weaken one of the air defenses and also open up a huge compartment, which gives him access to two air defenses and the queen. So right there, golems and witches moving through. Everybody's going in, the king and queen going in. Uh, right there, another air defense goes down. Here, the king is about to target the defensive queen, uses that ability. As soon as she goes down, a third air defense goes down. Now, all he's got is one air defense to deal with. He goes ahead and starts uh, dropping his loons in just very surgically and drops that one lava hound to get in there and just tank. It doesn't have to tank the entire time. It just needs to buy those balloons some time so they can take out all these outside defenses. And then the pathing is pretty easy to it, honestly. Uh, you'll see here in a minute it goes and two uh, balloons already targeting it. That air sweeper is giving them a little bit of trouble or it would already be gone. Uh, but as you see, as they start closing in here, the queen's on that expo. The balloons have locked onto that air defense. It is all over right there. The last few defenses go down. Beautiful attack by Alpha Dog. Be looking for that in your in your attacks, guys. Look for something with jumps, with you can take two, maybe even three golems, uh, jumps, uh, keep the small kill squad with your heroes uh, and those golems. And then the Zap Quake, that offside, uh, that offside air defense, and even if only one's left, it's not that hard to take it out. So it definitely works very, very well. In fact, let's watch another one that's sort of similar to it. Hold my beer, taking on uh, number nine, and bringing again the Zap Quake with the two jumps, as we were just talking about. No heals. You don't need heals for your balloons or anything. Uh, so you can really invest all of your spells into your kill squad and into that uh, that spare our stray air defense to take it out. And then as you can see right here, he is actually going to, he doesn't have a Lava Hound, doesn't need it. He brought three golems and two witches. Huge, uh, you know, kill squad here. Very, very tanky with all those witches and, and golems going in. And those heroes coming in behind it, drops the first jump spell down, uh, lets them sort of clear that. Very not good and patient on uh, his second jump spell, waiting for everything to go in. You can see he's easily going to get access to three air defenses, and then boom, that stray one, zap quake, it's done. Now he's got one more jump, and when that jump goes down, uh, his kill squad's going to be able to move right into that last air defense, take it out, as well as let his king get to that queen. So uh, perfect placement, perfect spell composition. Right here he's going to drop that jump because the queen is going to start engaging in just a moment on that king. He'll use that ability. Uh, it'll get in there. You see only one air defense left, and that golem is working on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 
starts goes ahead and sending his balloons in from the offside away from that last remaining air defense. Uh, but as everything catches up and gets to it, he starts dropping them on the right side, just swarming it with balloons. That's all you got to do. Uh, no big deal, really, because, again, doesn't have to have that Lava Hound. Uh, his kill squad's still up. Queen's still up. Uh, those defenses start going down. There's really nothing to flank them. And then, boom, as everything starts converging here, uh, that is that. Takes out that last few defenses, and then it's just cleanup time. The only problem with this attack, make sure you've got some wizards. Uh, it helps, obviously, if your queen's still up. You're going to need some cleanup troops when you don't have any pups running around. But beautiful attack by Hold My Beard. Just absolutely killed it. Okay, moving on. Let's check out our boy Noah. Noah taking out number 11 here. Doing it with a go Vaho. So, a perfect, perfect base for a Quake opening up the core. You look at that center. If he opens that up with Quakes, he's got access to about 70, eh, probably 80% of the base with his kill squad there. Uh, so all he's got to do is let this one section get completely cleared out by his queen and those wizards there. Once that's done, wall breakers will go right in and open up the compartment he wants. He actually thought that he had dropped all of his Quakes there and he kind of looked up like, oh no, what I, I missed or something happened and then realized he didn't tap the screen enough times. But look at the wall breakers going in there. Perfect job there, letting that uh, letting that section get completely emptied out so the wall breakers will not target that wall, and then deploying them and having plenty of them going in. Here comes the redheads and the king right behind it. You see, obviously, a lava hound there that the queen is already locked onto, but no big deal. Uh, just let those troops start working their way through the base, and obviously they're going to get heading towards those air defenses and towards that defending queen. Uh, shooting the air, air defenses, I'm um, used to talking about Galala, uh, the giant bomb areas right there. You see two of them already triggered, so he starts sprinkling in a few hogs on that side, drops a heal right here, perfect heal for, to get his Valks uh, healed back up. They've taken some damage from the, just the defenses and from those giant bombs uh, right here. Everything's targeting onto those heroes, taking them out. Uh, the pups are coming around doing a little bit of damage on them as because the queen got distracted there and she's actually going to go down right here. That expo locked onto her, but the damage is done. You see the hogs working away the outside. You see that another giant bomb was triggered. Only one giant bomb left and he does have a heal uh, for his hog so he can just sort of wait, be reactive and see where he needs that at because very, very little damage actually coming towards the hogs from defenses at this point. Only one, two, three, four defenses call it. Mortar doesn't really matter. Uh, so right here in just a moment, he's going to drop that heel down, and that is going to allow him to finish the push, get the rest of those defenses down. You see he's got wizards around the outside already for cleanup. That's perfect. Uh, he's got one more in the bag. He can drop, drops it on that storage, and then boom, there you go. Last bomb goes off, but the hogs take out the expo, and the king is finishing off the storage. That is that excellent, excellent attack by Noah. Love the uh, base identification there to open that up in the core and let his big kill squad with those Valks go through and get the job done. All right, pretty crazy attacks this war. Look, at, just check out this one by Armando. He always brings good stuff, but look at what he's got here, and I love it. Uh, again, Quakes opening up, but because look at this base. It's one of those offset bases, and it's not going to be what you think here. Watch what he does. He drops this queen down, and he's going to uh, obviously do a queen walk with the healers there. A couple of minions on that mortar. That's going to give him a free defense take, take out and also help ensure that his queen is going to go the direction he wants. Right there. Look at those. Look at that quake placement. So strange there. And maybe could have done it with a, a jump spell, but there was a chance she would have gone left or right there. Now she is forced right into that pocket. And you think, okay, well, that's not worth it. But hold on a minute. It is worth it. Look at what he's going to get for this. He's going to get three air defenses, both sweepers, a archer tower, a Tesla, the king, uh, an expo. I mean, all of that just for moving in right here and those quakes and that rage with the healers and that queen right there. So huge. I mean, the, everything that can stop him air-wise, he's taken out with that, that small queen walk right there. Uh, just goes right in. You see both of those air defenses going down. Now she's onto the sweepers and that middle air defense, she can reach it as well. So really good just knowledge of, of what his queen could reach when she gets into that pocket and what she couldn't. Uh, king coming in on that last remaining air defense there. That's beautiful. Just sending him in using his ability. And then what's left, nothing to stop. Six dragons and a few balloons. Uh, drops the rage form there. Take out the queen almost instantly. Uh, one balloon sprinkled in over here on this uh, archer tower that's flanking his king. And then just letting the, the dragons do their thing. I mean, nothing's... He wants to get one, two, three towers, uh, plus some wizard towers. I mean, it's over. We'll fast forward here. The queen's taking out the uh, taking out the balloons in the CC. Uh, the the or excuse me, the healers are still keeping her up. Uh, just love this attack. I really did. I liked it a lot. That 
just knowing if he can get that queen into that small little compartment there, that pocket, how much value he would get for it. Uh, and he truly did just absolutely wreck the base after that was over. All right. We got quite a few to look at today. We're going to keep it moving. Uh, looking at LB taking on 21 and doing a queen walk. Now, guys, this is the one you saw in the live attack uh, that I fat fingered the heel. So I just wanted to show that the plan was solid. It would work. Uh, LB does the exact same thing for the most part, only he uses the rage on his queen. Not sure why. Did he only bring four? He might have only brought four healers enraged her. Might have been what it was. <coughs> I didn't look right there, sorry. Uh, but everything else pretty much the same. Just lets her path up, knows how she's going to go because of my attack. Uh, goes in there, takes everything out. We'll just watch as it starts to unfold. Right there, taking out those point defense. She's going to go up, take out the archer tower, then going to take out the wizard tower, and then get in range of that air defense. She has to step in range of the CC troops. Uh, so know what to do there. Just drop the poison down. Uh, let her take care of that with the ability. Uh, pretty far in on the poison there. He does get the dragon in it, which is all that really mattered. And then right here, he goes ahead and drops the rage. Uh, just to save that ability, let that queen you know use it right there. He does go ahead and use it. Uh, but as the as that goes down, the queen steps up. The healers are going to get in range of the rage here in just a second. Right there, you see they finally get raged. Uh, so they're helping out with that queen. Everything's looking good. Now drops the golem down. Wizards create the funnel. I'm going to send in those wall breakers. As soon as that funnel gets created... Everything's going great. Right there go the wall breakers. A little bit lower than what I did on mine. Works fine. You know, no, no, no big deal there, honestly. Uh, King goes in. Jump spell goes down. Moving that jump spell up was probably, a, we talked about that a little bit, uh, probably a good move just simply because it lets the King go in a little bit more direct towards that expo and towards the King there. Uh, the hogs down at the bottom. That was perfect. And then sending the hogs in the top. The one thing I think he did wrong was right here. He did not send those couple hogs, two or three hogs, on that archer tower. And now watch what happens. The hogs have to go over. The big group's over here on this expo. Now they got a path all the way back over uh, to the air defense and to that uh, archer tower, sort of drawing that big group over that bomb. It, the heel had ran out. Uh, so he probably lost a few hogs right there to that. And then right here, he did not fat finger the heel, though. So he got that going for him. Dropping the heel down, and boom, there it goes. Uh, pretty much GG. Had to get the king's ability to let him out of that compartment. He got landlocked. The jump ran out. Uh, but pretty much everything's over at this point. Just got to get down to the bottom, take out those last few defenses, and deal with those pesky skeletons. But his queen, everything is cleared out up top. She's already working her way through. CC's down. Uh, right there goes that last uh, Tesla. Takes out his last hog, but again, because the queen's already worked her way down and through, uh, she's going to be able to help out a little bit, and the king and the wizards are doing their job as well. So beautiful attack, nice cleanup uh, after my screw-up. All right, let's see. Let's look at J Money taking on 23 with a Go Vaho uh, with a queen walk. A small queen walk, but it's queen walk. Uh, just a couple of healers. I'm not going to encounter a lot of point defense on this. Uh, so drops her down a couple of healers, drops that wizard to create that funnel. Push her the direction he wants her to go. And then right away, two golems going down, creating the funnel on this side as well. Once the, uh, the clear that out of the way, make sure those Valks have a path right into the base. Nice predictable path. Look how he's cleaning all that trash around the outside, making sure nothing can go in. Uh, nothing can draw his Valks out around the base. Knows they're going in right here. Goes ahead and drops them down with the king. And then obviously keeping the queen away from that, uh, the, 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 Val, excuse me, the Lava Hound in the CC, letting the Valks and the King, all that, take care of it instead. Just let that Lava Hound beat on it. Just pretend like it's not even there. Uh, she's still doing her thing, doing her walk. Had to use her ability. But right here, that heal spell, the Valks, the King, they take out all of those Teslas. Uh, just absolutely wreck that compartment. And then the jump spell, the second jump spell, to let them into that Queen area. Boom, she's going to go down in just a few swipes. And look how little of this base is actually left when he's ready to deploy these hogs. He's only got 11 hogs, but that is all he needs. Uh, Three-finger drop there, sends him down, has a heal spell for him, so just can wait for to where he needs that for that bomb right there. Sends it in, uh, drops it down, and I think there's a bomb. Yep, bomb right there. Boom, it triggers, and that is that uh, GG. Excellent attack by J Money. Really, really nice. Took out so much of that base with his kill squad and that queen walk. Loved it. All right, fast forward here. A couple more. And we'll wrap this one up. I want to give you guys a lot of coverage for those that didn't get to catch it on the stream. People always ask me on the stream, guys. We have a couple different guys that stream, but it's always on Twitch. And if you'll just go to Twitch, there's never more than 
I don't know, 15 channels streaming Twitch. They all have titles in there. Just check it out. You'll see if someone's streaming a one high four. Uh, Master Wheat taking on 25. Beautiful attack. People, someone wants to tell me the other day, watch for a Gola Loon with a Queen Walk. Well, here you go. Uh, dropping down the Queen. I think, I think he had four healers on there. Not sure. I think he had four. Uh, Tesla's popping. That's perfect. She's going to get some good value there. Take those out. And then now that Wizard taking out that Mortar. And then boom, right here. It's going to step up. Uh, continue on around. That Archer Tower is finally going to get that Wizard down. Or the Wizard Tower is, excuse me. Uh, right there, the Queen's going to come back down, take it out, and then get in there and get that air defense, which is very important. If you're going to do a Queen Walk on a Gola Loon, you probably need to be getting an air defense and some towers out of it. So getting two Teslas, getting the Archer Tower, uh, I think he got uh, did he get another two Archer Towers. He's going to get two anyways. And then sending the one Golem in, just a few Wizards to create the funnel, uh, let the Queen sort of meet back up with this kill squad, and then the jump into that core, which is going to allow him to get a second air defense, the Queen, and the CC troops. So very high value on this, uh, on the, the kill squad, on the Queen walk, all of it. Beautiful job. Comes in, gets another Tesla, so only one Tesla left he's got to worry about. That's big when you're doing a balloon attack. Uh, the CC troops coming out, drops that poison down. Uh, the defending queen goes down. Right here, the queen's locked onto that second air defense. It goes down. And then right here, he is perfectly safe to send in his lava hound attack. There he goes. Uh, hounds go in. Balloons right behind it. Just doubling up on the first air defense there. Knows that uh, probably his kill squad will get around uh, to help out even with that last air defense. Uh, but balloons going in. They're about to lock onto that to that first air defense that so goes down so he's even got a lava hound that's going to make the journey over to that last one uh, and do a little bit of tanking right there before he goes pop uh, but the queen made her way over takes the last shot and gets it down still has a rage in the bag doesn't even need it i mean can absolutely just not even use it uh, but goes ahead and drops it for those balloons there takes out the last wizard tower and then as you see the pups and all that taking out the king and that is that beautiful job by master wheat all right one more our boy Arthuro taking out 27 and doing it with just an old-fashioned CB Laloon, which, you know, I like to show it because it still works. It's still effective on the right base. He's going to come at this from the corner here, drop his one golem down out of the CC. He's going to just a few wizards, create that funnel, make sure everything gets moved right in, and then the jump spell right on that junction by the air defense, which is going to give him access to the queen, to that air defense, and actually Lux out here and has uh, several uh, Teslas in that section right there as well. Uh, so that's pretty high value for what he gets there. Drops the, the rage spell for those wizards and for that queen, and the uh, poison spell for the CC troops. Again, all those Teslas pop right there, but really doesn't matter with that rage queen and king. He is going to tear through them so quickly, and then right there uses the abilities of his heroes to take everything out. Very wise to go ahead and spend it, use them, because all you really care about there is the air defense and the queen. Everything else is a bonus, which he gets. Uh, gets the Teslas, gets a, a sweeper here, I think, or get close to it if not. Uh, but then he's safe to send his loons in, or his lava hounds and his balloons in. Uh, again, when he's got four hounds like that, just go heavy on them at first. Make sure they're there to protect. Uh, don't let, don't lose hardly any balloons to those first at first air defense. And then right there on the backside, two more go down. Uh, more balloons just working their way through, saving a few balloons for the backside, which is smart. Uh, right there, that sweeper's doing a little bit of work. First uh, or second Lava Hound goes pop, uh, but still has two up that are almost full health. So pretty much this base is done for. I really like that Rage placement. That's going to help those uh, Lava Hounds get over there to that last air defense very quickly. It's going to save him balloons uh, more so than it's going to speed up his balloons. It's moving those Lava Hounds around, uh, making sure that they're doing the tanking and not his balloons. So beautiful job there. Last few balloons on the backside go down. Last Lava Hound pops, but he's got a good group over that air defense. And that will pretty much be that. This one wizard tower, a little bit of a threat here because they are all grouped up and they are getting pretty low on health, but just enough of them get to it, uh, drop that bomb and goes down. He's got pups around the outside. They're doing their thing. That's a three star. Really, really nice attack by our third. All right, guys, that is it. Plenty of attacks for you all. Again, you got the live attack. I think you've got, uh, you've got a couple more videos coming out on this one. So hope you enjoyed the coverage. Hope you enjoyed the war. Uh, good job again to everybody in one hive and in 2.0. Uh, you guys keep your heads up. It was an excellent, excellent competitive war. Uh, and again, you guys had awesome bases, awesome attacks. Really, really did a good job. Hope you all enjoyed it. Until next time, Jake from What Hive, doing my best to help you guys suck less.